show you how to install this uh, subwoofer or sound system, whatever you want to call it. First step is to make sure that your terminal is disconnected and disconnect the negative. That way you don't blow any fuses or mess anything else up. Now you're safe. I have an aftermarket stereo in this car. Um, I'm gonna put a link right here in the eye if you wanna see how to put an aftermarket in your car. But I'm just gonna skip over this to save time. Okay, so in your kit, you're gonna get one of these. And what you wanna do is plug to the white and the red tip and ring of the one label subwoofer. It's gonna have several, front, rear, or whatever, but one says SW or subwoofer. That's the one where you wanna go into. Also, you want to run it and hide the wire so it doesn't look all janky. Your kit should come with the power wire. This one is gonna be hot, it's gonna be connected to the positive terminal of your battery and it's gonna have a fuse right here just in case something goes wrong just in case there's a power surge this will burn instead of your whole system so what you want to do is right now we're not gonna tie it down right now we're just gonna run this wire I just pulled a grommet under here so that I don't have to drill a hole in the car so just pull the grommet and I'm gonna run this through all the way to the back where the speaker is gonna go. Okay, remember, preferably uh, you don't wanna put a hole in your car because then it's gonna leak. I found a grommet where there's wires already coming in, so it's gonna seal itself. I just put a little hole and I'm pulling this, which is not tied down, but I just wanna run it. My goal is to run it all the way to the back where the speaker and the amp are gonna be. All right, so now, that you're done running all your wires. You can figure that on your own because that depends on the car, the type of vehicle that you have. You're gonna have these two RCAs, I think they're called, your remote and your power. Your RCAs are gonna go on the input side, remember? White and red. And then the power. Okay, so after you terminate each wire, you're gonna connect it. The red one is gonna go to the one that says plus 12 volts. The blue one is gonna go to the one that says REM or remote. And then the brown one is gonna go to the one that says ground. And the other end, you are going to screw it into the chassis of the vehicle. And now we can go back and put in the fuse and also put connect the hot wire to the positive terminal of your battery. And when you're done, you can connect the negative terminal back into your battery. This will power everything up. Sorry, I ran out of light, but hopefully you can still see this. So we have our ground screwed down to the chassis of the vehicle. Then you have the red one, the uh, wire coming from the positive terminal of the battery. And also you have your remote going to the back of your head unit. Or if you don't have a remote blue wire coming up from your head unit, you can just tie it to a switch connected to the yellow in the back of the head unit, which is the ignition. So every time you start your car, it will power up your amplifier. And then you have your positive and negative going to the actual speaker or a subwoofer and then you have your input going also to the back of the head unit so as you can see I went ahead and screwed it in 
just to make it a little neater. And there it is, all ready to go. Just a cheap 12 inch subwoofer from Walmart that I just had laying around. It's all ready to go. And as you can see, I have already put everything back together. Um, I even put a switch right here, which turns on my subwoofer. And I don't know if you can hear it, but uh, it's all good to go. If you have any questions, please leave a uh, leave a comment, and I'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions. Good luck.